Um, after that, I went to Facebook, where I um, went from product management to engineering management and tech leading. Um, did a bunch of things that were really exciting to me, including Facebook pages, which was a really cool way to allow non-human entities to also participate in the social graph. Um, and then my hackathon project was the like button, um, which I helped lead uh, the development of as well. And uh, that came out of this observation that people were you know, using things like wall posts and comments to, to express affirmation and positivity. And I, I, it, it dawned on me, I was like, well, what if we could make it easier? What if we could make it so that the effort required was so low and eventually realized the lowest effort possible would be one click? Um, what, if, what if we could make it super easy for people to share that kind of positivity with each other? Um, and, and that led to the, the design of the like button. Um, to this day, the number one most requested feature that Facebook gets is the dislike button. <laughs> which is funny to me because it really misses the point of the exercise. Um, we're trying to encourage and actually design the infrastructure and the social graph in, in, a, in a way that is opinionated, in a way that prefers a world in which we help each other, um, help affirm each other, rather than a world in which we tear each other down. So that's why there is a like and not a dislike button. <laughs>